Hello, welcome to Kitchen Countercrafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So today's video is gonna be just a little bit different. The There is all kinds of rain and lightning and a huge power flash took out our electricity. And hence, I am here with candles on my kitchen counter. And that's okay because when you have no electricity that means you can start writing with your fountain pens and dip pens and it is a great time to write somebody a letter so instead of a letter i'm doing a video because i have a little bit of battery left and i thought i might want to do that because it sure adds to the ambiance with the candlelight and a dip pen and this isn't just any ordinary dip pen this is the bronte dip pen by victorian trading company and I saw a review on it by the well-appointed desk and I thought I'd give it a whirl especially because it was on sale and so um, I've just been looking for a nice pen rest for my desk or my kitchen counter I should say because I don't really use a desk and so I wanted something pretty to kind of stay out and have a dip pen on there but I have to tell you that this pen rest is pretty heavy as you heard it clunk down and it's large enough to accommodate a fountain pen as well as a dip pen or if you are so inclined I also have my glass dip pen which just looks so beautiful in the in the uh, candlelight <clears throat> and uh, wow that just kind of lit it all up and I don't know what happened just automatic adjustment and um, that can fit two of these guys here so that's kind of nice as well and um, so let me go through this dip pen so this is again uh, brass type of metal brass colored metal I don't know I think it's brass is what they said on the on the uh, website but who knows right it's nice and heavy and it's metal and looks antique and I'm good with that this is supposed to be faux bone um, so it's supposed to be a bone replica of a dip pen and it's a nice size so it is this is what 11 and a half uh, eight and a half by 11 so that's about eight inches maybe seven and a half inches with the <clears throat> nib in it and um when it's daylight i will swap this nib for zebra g and just see but i was able to pull this out it wasn't easy this one's kind of bent in there but i was able to take the nib out and that's really what the main thing was i don't even know if you can see it i would like to put my hand behind it but i'm afraid that's gonna really darken it up yeah it's it's useless so anyway um what i'm gonna do though is do a writing sample and so you can see and i can see how this works so i got my sumi ink here i just dip my pen in there by the way you can use fountain pen inks for writing with your dip pens but i have to tell you that uh, you cannot use your dip pen ink for your fountain pen inks because that will absolutely clog up your fountain pens and pretty much wreck them so don't do that uh, but the dip pen inks are are great uh, for dip pens so this is the well that's not writing at all Let's see it's probably because I was waving it around I don't know maybe so I can tell you that this writes very very smooth it does not have any scratchy feedback which I actually like and uh, it is not doing any of that right now it's writing very smoothly it's not holding on to the ink very well but then i didn't really season it or condition it i just opened up the package and i'm writing with it so we probably want to do you know wipe off any of the oils and things so that it would write better but and maybe hold on but no i can't hear any ink but then also this is not giving me any line variation either and I'm gonna flex it in just a minute to see can you even see this it's probably really a little blurry maybe that's even getting blurrier okay I'll put it up to the to the thing in just a minute
I'm pushing down on this and it's not doing very well at all. So it is not giving a line variation. But it's writing a nice fine line, but that's about it. Hmm. Not sure I like this nib at all. I usually like dip pens because of the flex. So there's not much flex, if any. And again, it does not have those little side vents that help your ink to hang on either. There we go. So overall, really, um, what I bought this pen for was the stand. I don't even know if you can tell what that looks like in this dark light. No. Mm. Come in close, close, kind of, maybe not. And um, it's not for the nib, that's for sure, because I would be using a Zebra G nib to write with. Um, so that I could have that lovely flex that I like and most people want out of a dip pen. But I have to say this holder is lovely and the desk holder is especially lovely and makes for a great little picture. So uh, not so much. I think uh, my recommendation would be not so much for writing if this is your first pen because I think you would be a little disappointed. It does not give you any line variation whatsoever. It's even when I pushed down on it, did not give at all. So it makes a very nice fine line. It's a smooth writer, so that's nice if you don't like that scratchy feedback, but I do. And so I'm um, kind of old fashioned that way. I like the dip pen for their scratchiness because it gives you those sharp, sharp fine lines, even sharper than this one. I would compare this to a fountain pen fine, whereas my regular dip pen and the the Nico G or the Zebra G will give you more like an extra fine line and also will give you the thick and thin lines as well very easily when you are writing with those. So I hope that you like that quick little review and if you are just even curious, it makes for a very, very nice pen holder though for your desk and a very lovely conversation and decoration piece. So with that, uh, wish me luck that maybe my power would come back on and I can upload the video. That would be awesome. So until next time, bye.